Hey guys, welcome to yet another Streamlabs OBS tutorial by Kalancho Productions. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an instant replay. This feature records your stream while you are streaming and then it creates a short clip that you can show to your audience while you are still streaming. So let's say you were playing a game and something interesting happened, you can replay that moment and relive that moment once again with your audience live on the stream. So first things first, we need to go to the general settings down here and then go to the output tab. And now if you're using an advanced output mode or simple output mode, you need to make sure that the replay buffer is enabled. And then you need to set uh, a time, the maximum time of the replay in seconds. So let's say you would like the replay to capture the last 30 seconds of the stream, then you would set this value to 30. If you are using an advanced output mode, you have a dedicated tab down here and the process is the same. So set this uh, to 30 and then go to the general settings and scroll down and make sure that this option right here is enabled. So what's gonna happen is that OBS will automatically start the replay buffer once you press the go live button. This is a good way to, you know, not forget to record the, the replay buffer. Actually, if you don't have this uh, option allowed, you would have to manually press this button right here alongside with the go live button. So yeah, it makes your uh, job much easier if you just, uh, you know, let this uh, do the job for you. Keep replay buffer when act active when stream stops is something that you can do as well. Let's say you end the stream and you are still playing and maybe something happens after you stop the stream, you can make sure that, you know, the replay buffer will capture that as well and you can uh, use that later on. And now lastly, we need to add the actual uh, source to our uh, scene and you do that by adding the instant replay source. Now you also have some options here. You can loop the instant replay if you would like it to just, you know, keep on looping until you uh, hide this source. Or also actually you can create a separate scene just for an instant replay. I honestly think that's a better way. And yeah, it's just more efficient to just have a separate scene created for the replays. So yeah, this is up to you. I would check the loop option to just, you know, let the video uh, loop and also use hardware decoding can be uh, helpful as well. And once you press done, you will have this source created. And uh, yeah, it's really hard for me to show you because I'm actually uh, not gonna uh, stream right now. But basically when you stream, you know, OBS is gonna keep on recording the last 30 seconds of your stream. And then with a press of a button, you can activate the instant replay. And actually I'm gonna show you how to create that button. But before we do so, I'm actually gonna create a separate scene. So instant replay, we will go ahead and add the widget once again. And right now we need to go to the hotkeys tab down here. And then we need to set uh, three hotkeys to be exact. So the first one, we will set up the switch to scene hotkey, right? For example, let's go with F5. And then show instant replay and hide instant replay, something that we are also gonna want to do. So that's F6 and F7. So right now what happens if I switch from this scene and I press F5, I'm gonna go to uh, this scene right here. And when I press F5, the replay is going to uh, start playing. But yeah, I don't have any uh, any replays right now. That's why it's not working. But yeah, you can basically, you know, set up uh, a hotkey and it will just make your job easier. You know, you're gonna stream normally, something epic happens, bam, F5, F6, you're gonna watch the replay. You can also maybe add the the webcam to this source as well so the audience can actually see your reaction to whatever happened. And then when you're ready to uh, keep on going with the stream, you just switch to uh, the normal or the main scene. And that's basically guys, pretty sweet function, especially if you play some shooter games or some you know action games when there's a possibility of something 
epic happening. This is a great function that will, uh, you know, let you relive those, those moments. And you can also then use those moments for your social medias, which is something uh, useful as well. You will just have, you know, clips that you can use. And yeah, this way you will never miss the epic moment because it's just going to be captured. Uh, by the way, if you would just like to record the whole stream, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that as well. Uh, you go to the general tab and uh, you press automatically record when streaming and then you make sure that the recording tab is set up properly so yeah but this doesn't mean that when you are not recording the, the whole stream it does not mean that you can't use the instant replay you can use the instant replay separately and lastly i also almost forgot to tell you there's one more very important hotkey safe replay which will actually make sure that the replay gets saved on your hard drive so yeah if you would like that to happen f8 is the key to go with or any other key of your choice and that's it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i will do my best to answer as soon as possible if you would like to subscribe to the channel or smash the like button or do both ideally i would really appreciate it if you would like to uh, check out all the other tutorials i've made feel free to click on the button in the right corner and i will see you very soon with another video thank you so much for watching bye bye